Hi guys. I'm not sure if I should leave you there or not. <laughs> no, I just worry about the glare. Okay, I am going to read. I'm going to read from the Pearl of Great Price, the Book of Moses, and I'm going to do chapter six. I haven't read it, but I did look to see how many verses there are. They're not verses. Yeah, verses. You have chapters and verses. Okay. Anyway, there's 68 or 69, so there's quite a few. I'll read to you the synopsis and you can see if you want to stick around, but you really should. I'm going to endeavor to read it and you guys should endeavor to listen. <laughs> okay. I just noticed that, um, you know, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see how many views there are on each video. And, and it seems to me that Moses is getting a lot of hits. In other words, people are wanting to read Moses. So that's cool. And they're smart. <laughs> now there's just some interesting things in Moses that you're not going to get elsewhere. And then to realize that it has to do with those seer stones. Because this is Joseph Smith using the seer stones. This part is in the Bible. The book of Abraham is from some uh, ancient papyri that was found in a I think in a, I don't know what they call it, you know, like an Egyptian mummy, they're in a casket type of thing. I want to say sarcophagus, but I don't know what that word is. Anyway, point is, there was some papyri in there, and Joseph Smith translated it, and that is the book of Abraham. So, I don't know if I want to read that or not but I might endeavor to do a little. I know that at one part of it, they were going to try to sacrifice, they were going to sacrifice Abraham, but they didn't manage to do it. <laughs> I believe he was saved in the nick of time with, uh, with the help of angels. We'll have to read that part. And if you look it up, I'm pretty sure those pictures are there. There's pictures. Think of like the table that was going to be used to um, I gotta not think things like that. Bad words are in my head. Painting pictures. Slicing and dicing is the deal. So no, not good. I've done and ruined my stuff here. I'm going to do Moses chapter 6. So here's the synopsis. Adam's seed, which means his posterity. Adam's seed keep a book of remembrance. His righteous posterity preach repentance. God reveals himself to Enoch. Enoch preaches the gospel. The plan of salvation was revealed to Adam. He received baptism and the priesthood. See, Adam was kicked out of the garden, but Adam was still in contact with God. God did not. Okay, I can't say that. He didn't leave him alone. I don't think he showed himself to him anymore, but he... Um, must have communicated with him. I guess we'll find out when we read. Yeah, we're going to find out real quick. But the point I was trying to get across is, you know, just because they were uh, removed from the garden didn't mean God didn't love them anymore. And actually, they needed to be removed from the garden. They needed to go through these changes. 
And if you listen to the ones that I read before, I'm sure it must be in there, where he forbid them to eat from that fruit, the fruit of that tree. But, they, but he said, nevertheless, it is up to you what you do, because it is here for you. So, you know, there's a paradox there. I don't know if that's the right word, but a conundrum. I don't know if that's the right word. But the point is, they were told not to eat out of that tree. The knowledge of good and evil. But they were also commanded to multiply and replenish the earth with people. And that meant having sex. They didn't know anything about that. Not yet. Anyway, I want to go ahead and read this. See what we see. Not sure if I'll be able to read it well or not. Sometimes I do okay. Okay, so. Verse 1. And Adam hearkened unto the voice of God and called upon his sons to repent. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son, and he called his name Seth. And Adam glorified the name of God. For he said, God hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. And God revealed himself unto Seth, and he rebelled not, but offered an acceptable sacrifice like unto his brother Abel. And to him also was born a son, and he called his name Enos. An itchy ear. And then began these men to call upon the name of the Lord, and the Lord blessed them. And a book of remembrance was kept in the which was recorded in the language of Adam. For it was given unto as many as called upon God to write by the spirit of inspiration. Ha, 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 ha. That's interesting. Did you hear that, people? Okay, this was very important. And a book of remembrance was kept, comma, in the which was recorded, comma, in the language of Adam. Come back here. For it was given unto as many as called upon God to write by the spirit of inspiration. Like my writings, I tell you, are spirit of inspiration. People who call upon God and then write, they can have that. That's what that said. That's true. For it was given unto as many as called upon God to write by the spirit of inspiration. And by them their children were taught to read and write, having a language which was pure and undefiled. Now this same priesthood, which was in the beginning, shall be in the end of the world also. Now this prophecy Adam spake as he was moved upon by the Holy Ghost. And a genealogy was kept of the children of God. And this was the book of the generations of Adam, saying, in the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. In the image of his own body, male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam, comma, in the day when they were created and became living souls in the land upon the footstool of God. 
And Adam lived 130 years and begat a son in his own likeness after his own image and called his name Seth. And the days of Adam after he had begotten Seth were 800 years and he begat many sons and daughters. And all the days that Adam lived were 930 years and he died. Seth lived 105 years and begat Enos and prophesied in all his days and taught his son Enos in the ways of God. Wherefore Enos prophesied also. And Seth lived after he begat Enos 807 years and begat many sons and daughters. And the children of men were numerous upon all the face of the land. And in those days, Satan had great dominion among men and raged in their hearts. And from thenceforth came wars and bloodshed. And a man's hand was against his own brother in administering death because of secret works seeking for power. All the days of Seth were 912 years, and he died. And Enos lived 90 years and begat Canaan. And Enos and the residue of the people of God came out of the land, which was called Shulon, Shulon, and dwelt in a land of promise, which he called after his own son, whom he had named Canaan. And Enos lived after he begat Canaan 815 years and begat many sons and daughters. And all the days of Enos were 905 years and he died. And Canaan lived 70 years and begat Mahalaleel. And Canaan lived after he begat Mahalaleel 840 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Canaan were 910 years and he died. And Mahalaleel, Mahalaleel lived 65 years and begat Jared. <coughs> And Mahalalil lived after he begat Jared 830 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Mahalalil, Mahalalil were 895 years and he died. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to lit my whistle. We're a third of the way through. <clears throat> okay this is verse 21 and Jared lived 162 years and begat Enoch and Jared lived after he begat Enoch 800 years and begat sons and daughters <clears throat> and Jared taught Enoch in all the ways of God and this is the genealogy of the sons of Adam, who was the son of God, with whom God himself conversed. And they were preachers of righteousness and spake and prophesied and called upon all men everywhere to repent. And faith was taught unto the children of men. And it came to pass that all the days of Jared were 962 years, and he died. And Enoch lived 65 years and begat Methuselah. And it came to pass that Enoch journeyed in the land 
among the people. And as he journeyed, the Spirit of God descended out of heaven and abode upon him. And he heard a voice from heaven saying, Enoch, my son, prophesy unto this people and say unto them, Repent, for thus saith the Lord, I am angry with this people, and my fierce anger is kindled against them, for their hearts have waxed hard, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes cannot see afar off. And for these many generations, ever since the day that I created them, have they gone astray, and have denied me, and have sought their own counsels in the dark, and in their own abominations have they devised murder, and have not kept the commandments which I, ha which I gave unto their father Adam. Wherefore they have forsworn themselves, and by their oaths how they have brought upon themselves death and a hell I have prepared for them if they repent not. And this is a decree which I have sent forth in the beginning of the world from my own, for mine, for my own mouth, from my own mouth, okay from the foundation thereof and by the mouths of my servants thy fathers have i decreed it even as it shall be sent forth in the world unto the ends thereof i'm going to try to do it this way so i don't keep putting my hand in front okay and when enoch had heard these words he bowed himself to the earth before the lord and spake before the Lord, saying, Why is it that I have found favor in thy sight, and, and am but a lad, and all the people hate me, for I am slow of speech? Wherefore am I thy servant? Question mark. Okay. And the Lord said unto Enoch, Go forth and do as I have commanded thee, and no man shall pierce thee. Open thy mouth, and it shall be filled, and I will give unto thee, I will give thee utterance, for all flesh is in my hands, and I will do as seemeth me good. Say unto this people, Choose, you, choose ye this day to serve the Lord God who made you. Behold, my spirit is upon you, Wherefore, all thy words will I justify, and the mountains shall flee before you, and the rivers shall turn from their course, and thou shalt abide in me, and I in you. Therefore, walk with me. And the Lord spake unto Enoch and said unto him, Anoint thine eyes with clay, and wash them, and thou shalt see. And he did so. And he beheld the spirits that God had created. And he beheld also things which were not visible to the natural eye. And from thenceforth came the saying abroad in the land, A seer hath the Lord raised up unto his people. And it came to pass that Enoch went forth in the land among the people standing upon the hills and the high places and cried with a loud voice testifying against their works and all men were offended because of him and they came forth to hear him upon the high places saying unto the tent keepers tarry ye here and keep the tents while we go yonder to behold the seer, for he prophesieth, and there is a strange thing in the land, a wild man hath come among us.
And it came to pass, when they heard him, no man laid hands on him. For fear came on all them that heard him, for he walked with God. And there came a man unto him whose name was Mahijah, and said unto him, Tell us plainly who thou art, and from whence thou comest. And he said unto them, I came out from the land of Canaan, the land of my fathers, a land of righteousness unto this day. And my father taught me in all the ways of God. And it came to pass as I journeyed from the land of Canaan by the sea east, by the sea east, I beheld a vision and lo, the heavens I saw and the Lord spake with me and gave me commandment wherefore for this cause to keep the commandment I speak forth these words. And Enoch continued his speech saying, the Lord which spake with me, the same is the God of heaven and he is my God and your God and ye are my brethren. And why? counsel ye yourselves and deny the God of heaven. The heavens he made and see the earth is his footstool and the foundation thereof is his. Behold, he laid it and host of men hath he brought in upon the face thereof and death hath come upon our fathers. Nevertheless, we know Okay, nevertheless, we know them and cannot deny. And even the first of all, we know, even Adam. For a book of remembrance, we have written among us according to the pattern given by the finger of God. And it is given in our own language. And as Enoch spake forth the words of God, the people trembled and could not stand in his presence and he said unto them because that adam fell we are and by his fall came death and we are made partakers of misery and woe behold satan hath come among the children of men and tempted them to worship him and men hath and men have become carnal, sensual, and devilish, and are shut out from the presence of God. But God hath made known unto our fathers that all men must repent. And he called upon our father Adam by his own voice, saying, I am God. I made the world and men there, let's see, I made the world and men before they were in the flesh. And he also said unto him, If thou wilt turn unto me and hearken unto my voice and believe and repent of all thy transgressions and be baptized even in water in the, in the name of mine only begotten son, who is full of grace and truth, which is Jesus Christ, the only name which shall be given under heaven, whereby salvation shall come unto the children of men. Ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, asking all things in his name, and whatsoever he shall ask, it shall be given you. And our father Adam spake unto the Lord and said, Why is it that men must repent and be baptized in water? And the Lord said, the Lord said unto Adam, Behold, I have forgiven thee thy transgressions in the garden of Eden. Hence came the saying abroad among the people that the Son of God hath atoned for original guilt. Okay, I'm, I'm falling asleep. I got to stop. 
Um, let me just refresh myself, okay? I'm on verse 54. I'm going to put it right there. I've got to, I'm, I'm falling asleep. I do that. Don't want to fall asleep. Not yet. <laughs> I have been getting tired lately. Okay, so I'm on verse 54. Let's make sure my eyeballs wake up here. Um, there's still like 69 verses, see, so and I'm on 54. Oh, ho, 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 I'm tired. Oh. You know what? Maybe I'll do something I shouldn't do. Oh, suck on a chocolate chip. <laughs> I'll try not to chew on them. I'll just suck on them. Because that is my intention. I gotta do something to wake up. Okay. Hence came the saying abroad among the people that the Son of God hath atoned for original guilt, wherein the sins of the parents cannot be answered upon the heads of the children. For they are whole from the foundation of the world. And the Lord spake unto Adam, saying, I got his chocolate in my mouth. Mm. Okay. It's giving me a lot of juice in my mouth. <laughs> Hence came the saying abroad among the people that the Son of God hath atoned for original guilt, wherein the sins of the parents cannot be answered upon the heads of the children, for they are whole from the foundation of the world. And the Lord spake unto Adam, saying, Inasmuch as thy children are conceived in sin, even so, when they begin to grow up, sin conceiveth in their hearts, and they taste the bitter, that they may know to prize the good. Did you guys catch that? I'm going to read that again, verse 55. And the Lord spake unto Adam, saying, Inasmuch as thy children are conceived in sin, even so, when they begin to grow up, sin conceiveth in their hearts, and they taste the bitter, that they may know to prize the good. And it is given unto them to know good from evil, Wherefore, they are agents unto themselves, and I have given unto you another law and commandment. Huh. Okay. Wherefore, teach unto your children. Ouch. That was weird. That all men everywhere must repent, or they can in no wise inherit the kingdom of God. 
for no unclean thing can dwell there or dwell in his presence. For in the language of Adam, cool, man of holiness is his name and the name of his only begotten is the son of man, even Jesus Christ, a righteous judge who shall come in the meridian of time. Therefore I give unto you a commandment to teach these things freely unto your children saying, that by reason of transgression cometh the fall, which fall bringeth death. And inasmuch as ye were born into the world by water and blood and the spirit, which I have made, and so became of dust a living soul, even so ye must be born again into the kingdom of heaven of water and of the spirit and be cleansed by blood even the blood of mine only begotten that ye might be sanctified from all sin and enjoy the words of eternal life in this world and eternal life in the world to come even immortal glory for by the water ye keep the commandment, by the Spirit ye are justified, and by the blood ye are sanctified. Therefore it is given to abide in you the record of heaven, and the record of heaven, the comforter, the peaceable things of immortal glory, the truth of all things, that which quickeneth all things which maketh alive all things, that which knoweth all things, and hath all power according to wisdom, mercy, truth, justice, and judgment. And now behold, I say unto you, this is the plan of salvation unto all men, through the blood of mine only begotten, who shall come in the meridian of time? And behold, all things have their likeness, and all things are created and made to bear record of me, both things which are temporal and things which are spiritual, things which are in the heavens above and things which are on the earth and things which are in the earth and things which are under the earth, both above and beneath, all things bear record of me. Okay, I've got five more verses to go. It's amazing how bad my eyes want to close. So that's how you do it. You need to go to sleep, read the scriptures. Oh no, shouldn't be eating anything in front of you. Couldn't help myself. <laughs> All right. All right. And it came to pass when the Lord had spoken with Adam, our father, that Adam cried unto the Lord, and he was caught away by the Spirit of the Lord. and was carried down into the water and was laid under the water 
and was brought forth out of the water. And thus he was baptized. And the Spirit of God descended upon him. And thus he was born of the Spirit and became quickened in the inner man. And he heard a voice out of heaven saying, Thou art baptized with fire and with the Holy Ghost. This is the record of the Father and the Son from henceforth and forever. And thou art after the order of him who was without beginning of days or end of years from all eternity to all eternity. Behold, thou art one in me, a son of God, and thus may all become my sons. Amen. Finally, I made it. All right, that's the end of Moses 6. And that has put me to sleep. I hope I didn't put you guys to sleep too bad. Let's take a break. You know, you don't have to listen to the whole thing. You pause it. Then you can go back to where you ended up. So, good deal. We've got Moses 6 done. I'm going to get off here and let you guys um, 